Hello Valley Investors, thank you for joining me. Today we're going to talk about Go Health. It's a health insurance website that allows customers to compare health insurance options for themselves. We're going to talk about its revenue growth rates. We're going to talk about the fact that its users are quite fanatic about its website. We're going to touch about its EBITDA margins and how it compares with one of its close peers. And then we're going to bring this all together and talk about its valuation. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to check out my marketplace on Seeking Alpha. It's called Deep Value Returns. You can see that just above my head here. You're welcome to do a free trial there to see if you find stocks that suit you. So let's get started. So the thing that puts me off about Go Health, there's a lot of positive things, but I just wanted to kind of get into the nitty gritty here. And if we look back to 2019, its revenue growth rates were 139% year over year. That's a very strong pace. But as it progresses through 2020, we see that steady deceleration. We see that in Q1, its revenue growth rates were above 100%. But then as it migrates into Q2 2020, it comes down to 71% year over year. So from Q1 to Q2, we see a 30% deceleration. On the revenue growth rate. If we look at its guidance for its full year, its revenue growth rate is going to come at approximately 65% year over year at the high end. So that means two things. Number one, that from the start of the year, as it progresses through, it's slowing down. The second thing is, if its exit rate from Q4 2020 is approximately 50%, you should minimally bear in mind what is 2021 going to look like? So you, you have this position where the company was going really strong in 2019, then in 2020 is still very attractive, but you have to think about right now, what is 2021 going to look like? Is, is the revenue growth rate going to stabilize at approximately 50% or is it going to start dipping down even slightly to around the high end of the 40s? So that makes a very large difference to the multiple that investors are willing to pay. Having said that, I do believe that, that that line of the story is already more than priced in. So let's press ahead. If you look at the rest of its platform, you can just bear in mind that its users have a very high rating review for it on Trustpilot. So out of 11,000 users, it has a 4.8% rating out of 5. That's really, really high. That means its users are fanatic about it and that lends itself to when if you remember, 70% of its revenues are from direct channels. So it has a very high conversion rate for its direct channels of approximately 35%. So its lead generation to conversion is very, very high. And the one thing that I will just mention briefly is that Go Health only has approximately 1% of the total addressable market. So they put the total addressable market at approximately 28%. So they only hold 1% of that. So that means it's a very fragmented market. There's a lot of competition and different companies willing to take here a slice of the pie. So that's something to bear in mind when it comes to, again, to getting the multiple that investors are willing to pay for it. But let's press ahead. So on the one hand, it's priced at approximately 4.6 forward sales. Okay, so Go Health is priced at a 4.6 forward sales, whereas a close peer of it, select quote, is priced at slightly less than four, four, four times. So, on the one hand, you got Go Health that's priced at a higher multiple than select quote. On the other hand, select quotes. EBITDA margins for the coming year are approximately 26% at the high end, whereas Go Health is 33%. So you have a much higher EBITDA margin than Select Quote, which more than justifies a slight premium. So just to summarize everything, the one thing that puts me off from this investment is that I'm not quite sure how its revenue growth rates are going to look in out into 2021. On the other hand, I think that everyone can make a valid argument here that that's more than priced in already when considering that side of the story when you're paying just four times, slightly more than four times for its sales. So if you haven't done so already, don't forget to check out my marketplace 
and see if you find stocks that suit you. It's called Deep Value Returns and you're welcome to do a totally free trial. See you soon.